All right, this video is a PSA, a public service announcement, if you don't want to know what that means. But this happened to me. I'm sure it's going to it has happened to somebody else I talked to on Instagram. So you guys need to check, pull your inner fender wells out of your car, especially this passenger, passenger front, and check the brake line that runs down through and inside the fender well. Here's my old one out. I'll put a picture on the screen here and then we'll get into it. So if you have not done this, and you've not owned the car its whole life, you need to check this out. Even if you have owned the car for its whole life, if it's set outside at any point, you need to check this out. So take your uh, inner fender well out, and there's a brake line that runs from here. Well, usually there's an adapter here, or like a uh, just a spacer. You may not have this proportioning valve. It runs down through your inner fender well, Mine, I'll put a picture on the screen right here. It has never set outside since I've owned it. So I know this has been there for a long time. It had all of these pine needles sitting on top of this brake line. Hey Chip. And it rusted. You can see it's rusty all right here and it actually cracked right in there somewhere. Those pine needles were sitting right on top of it and just collect held moisture. So you need to take your inner fender well, take a look at it because this rusted and cracked. Luckily, I found it while doing my uh, brake swap when I was going to, to bleed the brake. Bleed the brakes. It cracked while we we're bleeding. So, but if this would happen out on the road, we would have lost brakes and we're just not been good. We could have taken a chance on wrecking the car and things like that. So please, check your brake line and you can see it's it's rusty right there and then back here at the back it was a little not quite as bad as there but it was just corroded and junk because these springs can get corroded too and cause us to rust but lucky for us mpd national parts depot has these pre-bent brake lines right here with all the has the uh, springs on the corners and everything the correct ends on it so all you gotta do call up MPD they'll ship you one or if you're close to Charlotte or one of their other locations are in Florida just run by and pick one up I went by had it in stock 68 bucks it's worth the money than trying to make this all to fit it's, it's just way easier to go down and pick one up. So I'm going to get this put on and finally going to finish up this brake uh, swap that I did with the rear disc brakes and Cobra front brakes. Never mind the dog hacking in the background. But let's get this thing finished so we can actually drive this car. It's been driving me crazy. I want to drive it. So let's get into it. All right, guys, so here's the brake line that I got from MPD. See, it's pretty much bent exactly like. I'll have to, you know, snake it a little bit. and Because it comes bent. It was bent here and there. It's like a ship so they can fit it in a box, and they don't have to get a huge box to fit it in. But what I actually had to do, I originally bought one for an 85, so the 85, it was like 83, 84, and 85, 86 had a different one. I bought one for 85 because this is 85, but it must be an early production or either the Capris used up some of the leftover Mustang parts. So I had to actually buy one for an 84. So to get it, to get the same one. So just look at your, I'm not exactly sure. I guess I need to do a video on how to look at your manufacturer date. Cause I've never done that on this car to see if it's an early 85 or not, but 
anyway let's get this thing put on and get this thing on the road finally 